welcome. We are doing some meatloaf freezer prep meals today, whatever you want to call them. This recipe is doubled if you are making it for a normal sized family. You would want to half everything that I've got here, um, but I've got it doubled so that I can make several small little meatloafs and have them ready to go. I've got two cups of Italian breadcrumbs, two eggs. You're going to go ahead and lightly beat those. A medium onion chopped up a cup of finely shredded carrots, two cups of cheddar cheese, two teaspoons of salt, and half a teaspoon of pepper, a one and one third cup of milk, three pounds of ground beef. So what you'll do first, you're gonna mix all of these ingredients into your breadcrumbs, and then we will add in um, our ground beef. And we are just going to get this mixed up. One thing to remember whenever you are making meatloaf is just like if you're making bread, you don't want to overwork it. When you overwork it, it gets tough. One of the ways to combat that is to go ahead and work all of these ingredients in and then add your meat. So this is already smelling good and it's not even cooked yet. <laughs> go ahead and put in some ground beef. All right, so I'm not afraid of getting my hands dirty, so I am going in. I kind of fold it. Whoop. <laughs> that always happens. Fold it in, press it down. All right, I'm gonna kind of scoop some of this in a pan. Press it down in there. Make sure it's even. Don't want one side thicker than the other. It will cause issues when you're cooking it, of course. All right. So if you are making this at its normal scale and it's whatever size pan that it needs, for the glaze on top, you would do a quarter cup of packed brown sugar, a quarter cup of ketchup, and one tablespoon of mustard. You're doubling the recipe like I did and you intend on making it right now, you would double all those. To do the glaze for just one of these, you're gonna need a tablespoon brown sugar, a tablespoon of ketchup, three fourths teaspoon of mustard. So brown sugar, ketchup, and mustard. Mix this together. You're going to preheat your oven at 350. Use a meat thermometer just to double check. You want to make sure that it reads um, 160. You can put it in for about an hour, 75 minutes, somewhere around that. Um, then you'll pull it out, let it stand for 10 minutes or so, and you can slice it up and serve it. Um, these guys will also be cooked at the same time as this one. Um, but we will not put the glaze on them so that we can um, freeze them. So when it comes to the meatloaves that you are going to freeze, what I do first is I'm going to wrap these in some plastic wrap. I just kind of take my forearm and like pull against it. Each pan is wrapped in saran wrap, and then we need to put foil on top. But we need to put some cooking instructions on there. Now these guys are a little bit unique in that we also have to add a glaze on top first. So I'm also going to write on here um, the instructions for the glaze itself. Top with glaze, then bake uncovered. I really hope that <laughs> that's gonna fit on the thing. So it's a lot to right? So let's see if it fits on here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, she 
good. <laughs> All right, that is it for me today. Remember to do something today for your future self that your future self will appreciate. See you next time. Meat love. Let's taste it. Oh my gosh. That looks so stinking good. Oh gosh, my stomach is rumbling. Well, let me tell you what. <laughs> that glaze on top is amazing. <laughs>